Hi, this is Seth David from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated bringing to you another special screencast. This time we're continuing in our series on understanding your balance sheet. Last time we went over the equity section. Today we're going to tackle the asset accounts and we're going to focus specifically on how to increase your net worth. Whether you're a person or a business, financially our ultimate objective is to increase net worth. We want to be worth more. We want to have something that's of value around us, especially with our business. So we're going to focus on how to increase net worth. Now you might recall from the previous video and blog post that we did on this that we went over the basic formula which is represented by the balance sheet which shows you assets, liabilities, and your equity which is your net worth. And the basic formula again is assets minus liabilities equals net worth. So we want to understand this when we're thinking in terms of how to increase that net worth. In very simple terms now, looking at this formula, there's a couple ways we can do it. We can either increase assets to increase net worth or we can reduce liabilities to increase net worth. But it's a little more complicated than that because the other thing we can do is we can increase profits. Again, you may recall from the previous video that profits go directly into the equity section of your balance sheet. Your P&L closes out to retained earnings. It goes into your balance sheet. If I make a profit, it increases my net worth. And again, we can increase net worth by increasing assets, or we can increase net worth by decreasing liabilities. Net worth doesn't grow on trees. Ideas grow in your mind. Your mind is like a tree filled with ideas. You develop the ideas, you create them, you sell something, make that profit and increase your net worth. Let's go see what this looks like in QuickBooks. So as always when I'm doing something like this, I want to illustrate it very clearly by starting off with a blank company file with no information in it. Let's run our balance sheet. And I'm going to run it here for all dates. Notice there's nothing in it. <clears throat> and let's run our profit and loss. Again, for all dates, we've got nothing in it. Nothing up my sleeve. So, we want to look at how to increase net worth by focusing on increasing the assets. How do we increase assets? Let's deal with something very simple first. Let's go make a deposit. Right? So, let's say I was just starting this business today. I would take money out of my personal account, theoretically to get the business account going. And let's say I opened it up with $1,000. So I put $1,000 into opening balance equity. Now opening balance equity is an equity account because what I'm doing here is I'm increasing the bank account balance from zero to 1,000 because I'm putting money in and out of my pocket. So I'm literally funding the equity of that business. So that's why this is recorded as such. And when I refresh my balance sheet here, and I'm going to tell it to always do that, it updates, of course. It shows my bank deposit. It shows my opening balance equity. I put $1,000 into the business. Nothing else has happened. So that's what the business is worth right now. It's worth $1,000, the cash I just put in the bank. Now, as I mentioned previously, one of the best ways to increase equity is to uh, earn a profit. So let's record a sale real quick. Let me go to invoice a customer, right? Always right. Incorporated. We'll just quickly set this up just so I can record something. See if we have any items here. No, we'll create a service item real quick and we'll call it uniquely enough services. And let's bill somebody $2,000. Save. Yes. And no, I don't need credit card processing today. Thank you. So now look what happens. I've earned a profit, $2,000. Boom, flows right here into the net income, into the equity section of my business because I have no expenses so far. I've just earned $2,000 for services. I put in my time, didn't even have to buy a single office supply to get it done. Now, then we have to look at the balance sheet though a little more closely because here's the problem. I've earned that $2,000, but I haven't gotten it in cash yet. I can't spend my accounts receivable. I can't walk into Staples and say, well, you know, I've got this customer that I just billed $2,000 to, so can I spend part of my accounts receivable with you to get some office supplies? They're going to look at me like I'm nuts. So 
understanding the balance sheet, the ultimate objective is to take all of our assets and convert them into cash. Even if I think in terms of buying equipment for my business, that equipment is bought for the purpose of producing something which I can then sell in order to generate cash. So ultimately, in the balance sheet, I want everything to flow back here into cash because when I have cash, then I can use it to invest further into the business or take profits out and go live off of that money. For that matter, pay myself a salary. So the objective, again, is to think in terms of how do I convert this to cash? Well, accounts receivable, the answer is simple. But right now what I've done is I've increased my net worth already to $3,000 because of that profit I earned. So that's the most direct way into increasing my net worth is to increase assets. But again, I, and I've done that. I've increased the assets here. I've increased the net worth because of the profit. Now I want to convert that asset into cash. So what do I do? Of course, I collect from my customer. Hopefully they pay me. And no, I don't want credit card processing today. Thank you. And let's say we collect the entire $2,000. They paid us by check and save. Notice what it does. Now it's no longer an account receivable. It's an undeposited funds. I still can't spend it yet because I need to put it in the bank and I need the funds to clear. So now I'm going to actually make the deposit. Boom, OK, save and close. So now I've got my assets all converted into cash, so I've got my 3000 in the bank. How else might I increase net worth by increasing assets? Let's say I donate equipment. Let's say I owned equipment personally that I'm now putting into the business. What I would do there is I would record a journal entry, right? And let's say I'm doing it today. And let's say I'm putting in equipment. Now this is going to come in as a fixed asset, right? Major equipment something I'm using in the business. So I'm going to put equipment in, create the fixed asset account. Let's say I'm putting in equipment worth $3,000. Of course, I could put this into another type of equity account, perhaps called contributed capital. But for this purpose, I'll keep it simple and just call it opening balance equity. So again, notice what happens on the balance sheet. When I save this, my net worth should go up to and let's use a, a different number. I don't want to use the same 3000 that's already on the balance sheet. Let's say it's $4,500 worth of equipment that I'm putting in. So when I'm done, my net worth should increase as soon as I hit save and close to, of course, $7,500. Save and close. Yes, boom. So that's exactly what I did. I put an asset into the business, and it increased my net worth to $7,500. Now, at the same rate, and we're going to look at this in more detail next week. If I start adding liabilities to the books, let's say I take on debt, then I or or I or somebody bills me for something that I haven't paid for yet, that's going to reduce my net worth. Liabilities reduce the net worth. So that's what we're going to look at next week. But you know, just to quickly review, increasing assets directly impacts my net worth by increasing it. So ultimately the objective is is to get these assets up. How do I get assets up? By earning a profit and then collecting. I want to earn that profit and then I want to collect money. Now I know this is probably going to sounding very elementary to all of you, but most small business owners don't think this way. They don't think about it from this about their business from this perspective. And when you start to do that, you'll start to have a whole different perspective on how to manage your business, especially from the financial side. You'll have a new appreciation for how to manage it from the financial side. So that at the end of this month, when I do my live webinar on setting up and, and the importance of having cash flow projections, this kind of knowledge is going to play directly into how easy it will be then to understand what I'm trying to accomplish at the end of this month, September 2011, when I'm recording this. Because at the end of this month, I'm going to be doing a live webinar going over exactly how to use the knowledge, this information that I'm giving you here in order to develop projections and look at where's my business going to be in three months, six months, or one year from now based on my best estimate of how I expect my company to perform on the most conservative possible basis. And then, of course, we can make it more complex and look at different scenarios. But the basic idea is to have a conservative projection of how I think I'm going to do. So while this may seem elementary now, stay tuned. Come back next week for the next video. We're going to talk about liabilities on the balance sheet and how that we're going to look at exactly how that reduces net worth. And again, it's important to see this visually the way I'm showing you here because it's all going to play in. It's all going to come together at the end of this month when I do my live webinar on cash flow 
projections, which I hope you'll join me for. As always, I'm available for additional training and help on this or any other topic you see me cover. Just give me a call at 866-945-8070. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you on the web. This has been Understanding Your Balance Sheet Asset Accounts, How to Increase Your Net Worth, presented by Nerd Enterprises Incorporated. Call me right now for additional training on this or any other topic you see me cover at 866-945-8070. Our private trainings are customized for you. We send you a link, you share your screen with us, we log in with you and we coach you through whatever you need to learn, specifically in the context of your business because it is private so you can get specific with us about what you need to learn. Give us a call right now, 866-945-8070. I look forward to seeing you on the web.